They say never say never. I say never tell me what to do. A person will never put you in a position above them. That's never a lie. Always true. Success never comes without risk and risk never comes without fear. YouTube is a smoking mirror. Never how it appears. Yo, this is what I do when I get done working out. Hop on the load board, see what loads they got. Y'all know how I like to do it. Make sure that I got the smallest dead head first. Also, check before I started. I had posted a truck. I had posted a truck, right? So, this is what I like to do. I post the truck up, the available dates for today. I like to use an email because it cut down on phone calls. And in the comment section, I always like to put, please email load details for capacity. That way they kind of give me an idea of what the load working with. And before I respond to them, I pretty much know what rate I would need and whatnot. So let's go back to the search. Let me see if I'm, this is what I do if I don't have no load plan for today. I hop on here, see what's happening. I see a couple of loads that interest me, like this Rockford to Sterling right here. I didn't call on this load a couple times this morning. They started at a thousand dollars. Now they at twelve hundred. I asked them for eighteen hundred on it. They didn't want to give it to me, but oh well. You gotta swing for the fences when you dealing with these brokers and you dealing with the spot market because the price go up and down. It load at one a.m. in the morning. That's why ain't nobody really jumped on this load because it's gonna mess up the e-log clock for the day. It load at one a.m. in the morning and it delivers sometime in the afternoon but you don't know the delivery time to after you get loaded that scare a lot of people too because they really can't pre-plan so i'm gonna watch that load and i'm gonna look at some different loads here they have some other ones on here that had caught my attention i think it was rochelle to kenosha see look at this guy here he offering rochelle to sterling 750 really they kill me sometimes like if he was to email me i would just and he would tell me the load was paying seven seven fifty. I sent him a email back, and I'd be like, I can send a truck for seventeen fifty. That'll stop all them bullcrap emails. Rockford Rochelle to Kenosha. I might call on a couple of these loads. Rochelle to Kenosha and Rochelle to Pleasant Prairie. They might be the same load. Who knows? They right next door to each other. But one this this place in Kenosha that sometimes you deliver to. I don't like going there. They don't treat the drivers too well. The Pleasant Prairie, I'm assuming that's going to a Myers distribution center. Why am I assuming that? Because I run these lanes quite a bit. So I pretty much could look at where they say it's picking up, delivering to, or sometimes look at what time they say it's picking up and really see where the load going. Um, That Myers distribution, it's not a bad load, but they take a long time to offload you. Rochelle to Oconomowoc, guarantee you that's going to Roundies roundies uh that whole lumper situation with roundies just like that other place that that rochelle to kenosha they that lumper situation calling in getting a tea check and all that i guess i'm a little spoiled because i don't like doing all that no more you know used to have to do that a lot especially running ltl and rochelle to st louis that's not a i was finna say that's not a bad rate till they said two picks one drop and the first one is at 11 a.m. and it's what 10:21. And the second pick I'm assuming is in Rochelle along with the first, but they ain't really give us a lot of information. It's running at negative 10. It's going to St. Louis. You pretty much already know that's going to be a next day delivery. 1900 ain't a bad rate for that. If it wasn't 10:21, they underneath the gun right now on this load. So if I was to call in on this load, I would ask for 2500 off the back because. Nine times out of 10, you're not going to make an 11 o'clock pickup time. So you're going to be a work in. I would ask for 1200 off the back, if not more. Depending on the attitude of the broker when I talk to him, I might ask for three. Either they want to move the load or they don't. And rt and Enterprises, I know that they got uh, owner operators leased on to them. So the fact that they're not putting this on an owner operator truck, my price going to go up. If I was to call on that load, I'm not interested in going to St. Louis. It ain't bad, but I didn't have my share running back and forth to St. Louis. Why go? What they got it at? 
why well, go 300 miles when I can grab me a load going 90 miles and come back home so I have 180 miles just to give you an example of they offering 1300 to go to St. Louis but you know so another Rochelle to Kenosha I'm sure we already seen that probably the same one from up above so I'll just scroll through these and then I'll pick a couple of them and I'll call the broker I pretty much did a video already about calling the broker so it's just a couple things that I'm gonna say you want to pay attention to when you when you call the broker I'm not gonna do too many videos out there people calling brokers and they they giving out bad information maybe I will do a video but let me say this before I even do the video when you call a broker you got to speak with confidence don't let the broker control the conversation you control the conversation because you have the truck the broker needs you just as much as you need him but in order for you to get top dollar you have to act like you don't need the broker like when i called on this when i called on this uh rochelle to sterling earlier 1200 that's a good rate but do I think I can get more money based on what time it pick up? Yes. Am I going to get, am I gambling with this? Yes, because it could turn out all bad. Somebody could cover the load for 1200. These are like, these are the chances you take with the load board when you trying to strategically move your truck. If I was just trying to move my truck because I need to move my truck, I would take 1200. And unfortunately, that's what a lot of people out here in this game do. Me, I'm I'm cut from a different fabric. <laughs> we ain't even cut from the same fabric, let alone the same cloth. So back to what I was saying about the broker. When you call in with the broker, you should already have, they gonna give you this spiel about the load pickup, the load deliver, which sometimes you are already seeing that in the posting. And sometimes you do need to know that information because you gonna need to know what time it pick up, what time it deliver. You wanna know what the commodity is. You wanna know if it's a lumper. If it is a lumper, you want to know, is this somebody going to be there at the hours to give you a T check or com data check, EFS check, whatever the check is. You also want to know if they charge a fee for those checks because you don't want to pay $20 for them to cut you a check to pay a lumper fee. You just don't want to do that. That's the quickest way to go in the hole. So once they give you all that information, you could sit there and listen to it, which is the respectful thing to do. But. You should be a formulating the price. You should already have a ballpark figure in your head. And this is what I this is what I dislike about people when they be like, what's the best you can do? That's cool if that's what you do. Like I ain't I ain't trying to tell you how to negotiate, but I'm I'm just trying to give you a different perspective on it. Let them know the best you can do for them. So instead of saying, What's the best you can do, hit them with this. Hey, I could send a truck. For X amount of dollars. And I know people like, well, what if the broker was going to pay you more than that? Well, if you set the price right, I guarantee you he wasn't going to pay you more than that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He going to come back and say, no, I can do it for such and such. But when you ask the broker, like, you know, you'd be like, well, what's the best you can do? And he'd be like, well, the best I can do is 1500 When really the best he could have did was 1700 but then you take the fifteen as opposed to, he'd be like, where you trying to bid on it? Be like, I could send a truck for 18. And he'd be like, oh, well, I ain't got 18 in it. The best I could do is X, Y, and Z. And then you'd be like, okay, well, the best I can do. Say, for instance, I'd be like, I could send a truck for 18. He'd say, the best I could do is 15 on it. i say, okay, cool. We're going to split the difference. Meet me at 17. He's going to be like, that ain't splitting the difference. I'm going to be like, yeah, but that's what the truck got to have. Then you know we're going to crack a joke. We're going to laugh. And I'm like, you know. I got to make some other phone calls. You want me to send the truck or not? I don't spend a lot of time on the phone with them. Ha ha. Kiki. And I let them know I'm running a business just like they mm -hmm. working for somebody running a business or they running a business. So them some quick pointers. I hadn't did a low board view video in quite some time. So I figured it was time to do it. And remember, you can get 30 days of the dat low board for free if you follow my link in the description. And if you follow my link in the description and email me. When you get signed up, I'll help you with anything you want help with on the DAT load board, whether it's figuring out what lanes you need to run, whether it's figuring out prices for them lanes, whether it's figuring out how to post in your truck. All you got to do is shoot me an email. If you sign up under me, I'll help you no matter how long. As long as you signed up under me, I'll help you with the load board. All right, man. This is Wise Water 815.
Been through a lot of pain in my life, and I pray the Lord take it all away.